I thought I, I brought some food with me. Not to bribe you, not, not so that you can, hopefully you've eaten breakfast, but if you need it later, you can eat, maybe eat some of this wonderful sourdough bread. Well, how are we all this morning? We all, all we were all awake. Well, today in the gospel reading from Mark, we're going to be reading a bit from a really wonderful passage that we all know. So I'm going to ask if we could have this wonderful uh, scripture verse can be put up onto the screen for us. And it's from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 38. And it says, how many loaves do you have, Jesus asked. And Jesus, go, and this is what Jesus tells his disciples, go and see. Now, how many loaves do you see I have here? How, how, many, how many here? Um, you can just point, you can just show me with your finger. How many? How many loaves of bread do I have here? Just one. One. Okay. Now, Jesus tells his disciples, and then they come out, they come back, and, when they, and this is what they said. They tell Jesus, five loaves and two fish. And this is a wonderful passage of how we can learn about how Jesus gives us all that we provide. So right now, all Jesus has provided me is two loaves and two or oh, one loaf, sorry, oh, and two oranges here. And this is what we always remember is that everything we receive is from God. And we receive these things not because we're able we can just go out and get them. It's God's gift for us. And it's a wonderful gift that we can receive. And in our, open, in our Sunday school, in the summer months, we're actually, lear we're actually learning about the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit is something, yes, we can learn, but it's also a gift from God. And today, and to remind all of us from Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23, it says, the fruit of the Spirit is many things, is love, joy, peace, forbearance, or patience here, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the most important things. And this is why at the end, when we say against such things, there is no law, because this is what God wishes us to have. And so hopefully later on, when you have a picture of an orange, if we have these oranges here, you can re be reminded of one of these fruits of the Spirit. And I'm not going to share which one, so you're going to have to find out. So I want to invite all, our, all of us to join in a prayer in the It'll be on the screen, and we can say this together. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for everything that you give us. Please help us to grow and be more like Jesus with the help of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.